Right guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to just take a couple of minutes uh, to talk about the competitive state of Warhammer 40,000. So a couple of weeks ago there was an admec list doing the rounds uh, that was performing incredibly well. Uh, so much so that GW did actually put out an FAQ to pretty much nerf this specific list to a degree. Was it enough? I don't think it was quite enough based on some of the events that have happened over the weekend. Now, um, if you haven't seen on Facebook or on YouTube or, or any sort of the social media channels, it's been a lot of discussion regarding an event that took place this weekend just gone um, and a player basically giving up victory points when he knew he was winning the game. Uh, he let his model stay off the board and die, moved off objectives and which enabled him to be a little bit lower in the standings so that he didn't get his difficult games until you know game four game five of the event from what i gather the tournament organizers base said no that's not in the spirit of the game um and and both parties have, have spoke out about it and there's been a lot of discussion regarding it's the to's fault it's the players fault uh, some saying it's the actual pairing system's fault and it's good that things are getting stirred up uh, and you know it is getting addressed to an extent within the community but there's a lot of people taking sides and arguing over it and I can kind of see both sides okay so first of all it's a tournament right it's a competitive setting no matter who you are okay most people will do whatever it takes to get any type of advantage. Be that not telling your opponent, if they've forgotten, for example, that you've still got a unit in reserve. Not telling them about certain stratagems of certain armies if they've perhaps never come across them before or don't understand how your list plays. Little things like that always come up. People arguing over distances. Uh, if you do things slightly out of sequence... Uh, then I can understand things like that. The issue becomes the fact that it is a competitive setting. Okay, Look at the Olympics that was just on over the last two or three weeks, right? The Danish cycling team got a lot of stick from other cyclists because they were wearing tape on their shins, and this is classed as their shins being more aerodynamic. They are literally doing the exact same thing of basically trying to manipulate how they perform at that event. Be that deliberately losing. For example, um, I used to row a long, long time ago when I was like 18. And depending on where you came in, like for example, heats, depended which semi final you went into. If you wanted to guarantee yourself a place in the final, you would try and you know you don't want to overexert yourself you want to keep some energy you would try and get into the easier semi-final that's how competitive things are now i went through that as a teenager and when i started playing 40k obviously i did go to events when i first started and i enjoyed some of them initially and then you always come across people that are trying to i wouldn't say be be downright cheaters there are, there are cheaters which is a whole different topic but people that manipulate uh or try their best to control by any means the way that the game will go now from what i understand the tournament organizer said look it's not in the spirit of the game at the same time it's also a tournament it's a competitive event there's a whole load of explosion about it at the moment saying that person's right, that person's right, or it's the, the parent's fault. It's a whole host of different things. My issue is the fact that it is a competitive event. Regardless of, of, of who people are pointing the blame at, and I don't like being around people that are like that. I end up putting extra pressure on myself, um, feeling that I need to perform, and... It's not an enjoyable situation for me to be in. And for that reason, not wanting to be around people that are looking for every little slight edge that they can get over you, 
it's, it's just not fun for me. And that's why I haven't attended uh, 40k tournaments for quite some time, a number of years. And I'm very unlikely to, to go forward to any others. All of that is just in relation to a tournament itself, not even in relation to the game. The game is a whole other, other ballpark, and obviously I know a lot of people are upset with GW at the moment. And it's, it's instances like what's happened at the weekend that do turn the more casual players off going to events. It turns me off going to events because I don't want to be in that situation. I don't want to be that person's opponent. I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be the tournament organiser that's having to then make a call on, on what to do. So... That is why I don't like going to 40k events in general. Um, I'm interested to get your guys' thoughts. Uh, do you like going to events? Do you like these hyper-competitive events? Um, what do you think can be done to change the competitive scene? Uh, and if you don't like going to tournaments like, like me, why don't you like going? Is it for a similar reason? Uh, let me know down in the comments down below, guys, and uh, I'll be very interested to hear your thoughts. Uh, but until next time, we'll see you very soon.